welcome to Bioscience. In today's video presentation we will cover information regarding the Newcastle Disease Clinical and Necropsy Signs. Newcastle Disease is a contagious bird disease affecting many domestic and wild avian species. It is transmissible to humans. It was first identified in Java, Indonesia, in 1926, and in 1927, in Newcastle-upon-Tyne, England. However, it may have been prevalent as early as 1898, when a disease wiped out all the domestic fowl in northwest Scotland. Its effects are most notable in domestic poultry due to their high susceptibility and the potential for severe impacts of an epizootic on the poultry industries. It is endemic to many countries. The causal agent, Newcastle disease virus NDV is a variant of avian paramyxid virus 1. Clinical signs and symptoms of the Newcastle disease. The picture depicts coughing and gasping. Mouth discharges. The bird displays torticollis. Twisting and circling of head and neck. Paralysis of the legs. The chicken stand on its hot joints, a sign of generalized depression. Diarrhea with green bile pigment and white urates. Square appearance of the head due to bilateral facial edema. Swelling of the lower eyelid and conjunctivitis. Reddening of periocular region and corneal edema. Conjunctivitis in human. Postmortem and gross lesions of the Newcastle disease. Subconjunctival hemorrhages with external lesions. Sodma and hemorrhages in the conjunctiva and infraorbital sinus. Accumulation of mucus in the respiratory tract. Mild hemorrhagic lesions in the mucosa of trachea. Congestion and hemorrhages in the pharynx and proximal trachea. Severed thymus atrophy with extensive hemorrhages. Inflammation with pinpoint hemorrhagic lesions in the proven trichobus mucosa. Necrosis of lymphoid tissue at the cecal tonsils. Extensive hemorrhages and ulcers of cecal tonsils mucosa. Acute focal lymphoid necrosis in the duodenum. Focal ulceration and hemorrhage in the small intestine. Hemorrhagic lesions along the entire length of the intestine. Severed hemorrhages in the rectal mucosa. Ulcers with fibrin accumulation in the mucosa of the cloaca. Pulmonary congestion and edema. The spleen is enlarged with numerous white lesions. Extensive hemorrhages on the liver. Sodma and hemorrhages within the mucosa of bursa of Fabricius. Sever acute hemorrhages and congestion in the ovarian follicles. Sever acute hemorrhages and congestion. Prevention Any animals showing symptoms of Newcastle disease should be isolated immediately. New birds should also be vaccinated before being introduced to a flock. An inactivated viral vaccine is available, as well as various combination vaccines. A third model errant vaccine is available for controlling Newcastle disease in underdeveloped countries. Thank you for watching.